Hello everyone! So today I'm sick. <coughs> but I still got a new brand new scroll box to unbox. So even though I'm sick and I'm sorry that my voice might be a little bit nasal and raspy, I'm gonna do my best and still try to create something with whatever is in this box. So let's just start. And let's see. Ooh, what's this? It's black paper. I feel like that's new. I don't feel like I've seen black paper before. <gasps> Is this maybe something for Intoba? Oh, that would be so cool because I can see that the print is ink. It's an ink. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it's like a treasure cove. <laughs> even even the candy is licorice. Oh, this is freaking brilliant. This is just what I need. Tomorrow is actually the first of October, and I've been I've been a bit stressed <laughs> because my my ink uh, ink pen just ran out of ink. Oh my god, this just saved me. <laughs> it's all ink. So even the sticker is black. Candy is black. I love licorice, so this is good for me. I bet that there's a bunch of people out there that don't really like licorice. You can send them all to me if you want to. And this one looks like a Lego. Can you connect it? Oh, yeah, almost, but it's not practical, is it? Didn't break it. That was the wrong way around. So that was, I forgot to say the name of it. It's an Artline Sticks brush marker. And it's so cool. And then we have Edding 2200C. <laughs> it's a water resistant on virtually all materials. So that's just like a big fat chisel tip nib. Ooh. And then we have Sa Sarasa Porous Pen. Porous Pen. Do you see it? C, D, D, V, D, B, D pen. What does that mean? <laughs> Is it to write on like plastic? Looks good. It's nice that there's a bunch of different uh, nib widths and um, different kind of materials that's been used. Ooh, this one looks interesting. There we are. Pigma BB Sakura. Japan, Japan, Japan. So this is kind of like a brush nib without the brush. <laughs> and then we have graphic line marker 0.8. So it's kind of broad as well. There we are. And this is a big fine liner. Stabilo pen. So this is a, yeah, this kind of nib as well. We don't really have any for small detail work, but we do have a lot of different kinds of nibs. So that's good. And the last one, uh, the one that I'm the most excited about, it's the Pentel Arts Color Brush. There we are. So the ink is in here and the brush is like this. It almost looks like a jellyfish. <laughs> That's a weird comparison, but if you'd seen it in real life, because it's kind of see-through as well, it looks like it's made of jelly. So let's see, the artist of the month is Damien Rosansky, I'm probably butchering your name, but Damien Rosansky, born in Poland, a year after communism came to an end, wow. So here you can find him on Instagram and Facebook. Such a nice style with like the sharp edges the smoothness of the ink and like the bleeding of the ink it's really really nice and I do love monkeys <laughs> or chimpanzees wait baboon no it's a chimpanzee come on Anna not that sick <laughs> all right so then we have it all and the paper of course can't forget the paper it's plain old white paper so I'm ready to try the black and white and like get a practice in for tomorrow when Inktober starts. So yeah, this is gonna be a nice practice round. Let's just clean this all up and we'll get to it. All right guys, so we're back and let's try out the um, pens first so that we know what we're working with. I'm gonna zoom it in a bit. So this is the graphic line marker. It's probably just like a run-of-the-mill 
fine either, I think. But it is quite good. It is a fat one. <laughs> While talking about fat ones, Edding Permanent Market, this is this chisel tip one, can get like thinner lines, but it is a bit tricky. This is the Lego one. <laughs> I just call it the Lego one. The Art Line 6. It's like a brush nib for a marker. So you can see that it's a little bit more see through than, for instance, the, the Permanent Marker. And this is the Sarasa Porous Pen, and this is the thinnest one. This ink feels and looks really, really opaque, and I love that in, in black liners. And then this is the Central Pen CD DVD BD pen. Oh, this one is a really black one as well. It's really opaque, and it's, it feels really smooth. I like this one. Then we have the Pigma BB Sakura. It's always so surprising because when I look at the pen, it looks like it's going to be like a... Um, fine liner type pen or a felt tip pen but then it turns out that it's like uh, ooh, wow this one is super soft wow it's like butter interesting oh shit look <laughs> i've already gotten ink on my finger then we have the stabilo pen it is quite good it's funny to see that this one is more like of a bluish kind of ink and this is like solid black <laughs> This is interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, was it completely off camera? Let me see. I'm gonna do it here as well. Look at this. It is kind of blue, but it still is. I mean, it's black, <laughs> but it's not as opaque as some of the other ones. But it feels nice and smooth, and it hasn't leaked yet. I think. Whoa. So, we tried it all. Let's get down to business. To defeat the hunt. So I've sketched a little bit. So I have a plan for what I want to do. Um, since it's Inktober soon, I want to make an Inktober piece. It's Inktober soon. It's tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make something um, with Inktober. And I have like a light pencil sketch. I hope that's not cheating. But I'm really, really bad at fonts and topography. So I had to like sketch it up beforehand because if I had done it freehand, this would have been a disaster. So let's just start. I'm gonna line up the, the letters that I've got here. Should I use this? I'm not sure. Which one? I have so many to choose from now. I don't know where to start. Um, this one maybe? thinking that I could have done it the other way around that I used the the um, tools to make the letters black and that would have been like more the typical like ink lettering but I thought I'd try to do something a little bit different so that I just didn't just turn out to be the typical lettering video <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that I can I catch myself like in the middle of the night if I can't sleep I just look at calligraphy videos on Instagram and um, it's so fascinating when people can do it really, really well. I understand why it's called <laughs> calligraphy porn. <laughs> it's so gorgeous to look at. I was thinking that I could put some of the creatures on my list on here. I can try with a Nessie, a Loch Ness monster. Okay, so that's Nessie big butt and then its head. Okay, so I want the eyes to be white. I've always loved Nessie. I've never been to, to Loch Ness yet. I've never been to Loch Ness yet. That was a weird sentence. I've never been to Loch Ness. I've been to Edinburgh, but not the north of Scotland. So that's something on my to-do list. I really want to go to Loch Ness. I don't think I'm going to see Nessie. <laughs> So there we have Nessie, and let's see, maybe a zombie? 
it's like it's like walking you know like zombies do zombies walk or crawl depends and this is zombie for you hmm I want a bat okay then we have a big big bat Lekin is a Norwegian creature so it dwells in lakes and ponds so that's why it's like half emerged I also want to put Slenderman in here but he has to be really tall he's probably like way up here like a stick man almost <laughs> he's so tall and thin okay so let's see he's walking that's the thing, you usually don't see Slenderman walking, he's usually just standing there. And that's the creepy part about him. But in this setting, he's gonna have to walk because it's more like a monster parade. Okay, let's see, who else do we want to join the parade? Hufsa is a character from Moomin. It's a Finnish comic and a TV show. It's huge in uh, Japan, I think. And it's also, I mean, in Scandinavia. Most people have seen Moomin in Scandinavia. And Hufsa is like the creepiest character. I think this is going to be the last character that we have space for actually. Now that I think about it, I'm not completely sure how he, his legs, like what they look like. Oh, and now I need to have the like, flower sort of <laughs> head, it's so funny, like a flower head. It sounds so nice, but it's, it's really not. <laughs> so this is the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. At least I'm trying to make it look like it. <laughs> it was crazy face all open like a flower. Can't wait for the next season. Too bad it's not going to be this year. I think I'm going to say that we're ready with this one. But I want to try because there's still so many pens that I haven't tried yet and I wanted to get this bleeding effect <laughs> which I haven't tried before so but I felt like this would be the perfect pen to do it with because it's already a little bit runny you know What do you think? Is it done? I don't like how, how askew this one turned out to be. Can I straighten it up? You know what? Sometimes blood is askew. And you just have to let, let it just be askew. Oh, now I just added another one. <laughs> I can't stop. Nah, now I'm done. So I'm gonna sign it. Let's see, where should I sign it? I'm gonna hide it in between here. Then I think that's it. <laughs> so, 
that was it. Thank you so much for watching this month's uh, scroller box. Uh, and I'm hoping that you'll try out Etoba. It's so much fun. It's uh, it was invented by uh, Jake Parker. So it's, you're supposed to make an ink drawing every day of October. You can use his prompt list or you can make up your own. It's all up to you. It's mostly just to get the practice in and to do something every day, something creative every day. So I've got my prompt list on my Instagram page and I'm going to post one ink drawing every day of October. So check me out here at AKB Illustrations on, on Instagram and I hope that I can make it all the way through. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.